Hey guys, it's Project Slimy, and we're back here in New Bark Town, and our friend, our boyfriend, Wilton Fisher, is calling us. I don't even know what he's talking about. I think he's he's probably depressed that his mom named him Wilton, or his dad, who knows. Some sadistic fuck just held him up over the African safari and was like, his name it shall be Wilton. You know, all the elephants did their thing where they threw their trunk up, and... But, um, off screen, we got a phone call from Professor Elm, and he wants me to go grab something from him. The window's still broken, that's good! All this research, you don't eat, and you leave your windows broken. Take this as a token of my appreciation. And we get the Master Ball. Will I use it in this Let's Play? I don't think so. But, before we go any further, I gotta cut out something, and then I'll meet you guys back here. Because I just realized that I needed something, and I don't feel like, um, going, you know, I, I, there, I'll explain later. Hey guys, I'm back, and unfortunately, Squidward will not be take, coming along with us. I got ourselves a slave. Why do you say? Because we're going to have to utilize Waterfall, and for some, whatever bumblefuck reason he can't learn waterfall in this game and neither can uh lapras so i'm gonna just use my red gyarados let me say hello to red gyarados not gonna be using them but you know just there just to get us by just till i can uh switch them out and oh shit i'm not gonna have all right well you know what we're covered because look at my fucking team i mean obsidian pretty much just shit all over all over Claire, so can you just imagine what he's gonna do to Lance? I mean, really? I mean, of course, we gotta level up. You always gotta level up. I always look down here, and there's nothing there, so don't even bother going over there. God damn it! We already went this way. It's Squidward's brethren attacking out of vengeance. Go away. Nobody likes you. Okay. And... Ah, uh, the fat guy didn't charge us like a hippo. Do you know what you just did? You're taking your first step into Kanto. Check your poking gear map. Okay, okay, let's let's see what poke uh this is. Kanto. <gasps> Are you serious? You guys know what this is, right? Oh, uh, but I'm gonna look let us look at you know, the other towns, but you guys you guys know what this is. You know what this world is. First, fuck, that's right, guys. First fucking, oh, God, it's epic. We have a, uh, an item down here. Let's go grab it. I don't even care if this episode's 20 minutes long. I'm in fucking Kanto, where Ash Ketchum grew up. And we're gonna see Pewter City three years since the storyline of Red, Blue, and Yellow. Fight all the gym leaders. We get to fight all the fucking gym leaders in this game. And yes, we do. You could be an asshole and say we can't fight Koga, but technically we do. Not for a gym badge, but you know. Alright, let's- Ugh. Pull the- Are you fucking kidding me? Wow. Squidward must be really pissed right now. We're just getting flocked with Tentacruel. Okay, let's head in here. See, this is why we need Gyarados. And unfortunately, for a while, we're not going to see a, a Pokemon Center. Here, let's... Now, this is really cool. I love this animation. <laughs> it's so stupid looking. But wait till we go down the waterfall. It's awesome. Wait. Ah. What Pokemon do we get in here? Slowpoke? Yeah. Slowpoke. Slowpoke, you're so stupid looking. I'd use you, but look at you. You're like, you look like my, you look like my cat, Butters. Like legit, she has like a face of a slowpoke. Ridiculous, really derpy looking cat. And we have a gold bat. Let's just, oop. I don't like doing that on screen when I hit the space bar. I do it out of habit because that's what I do when I get the random bat, random battles. This bitch is gonna fight us. 
It's rare to see any. Oh, oops. Anyone come here? Are you training on your own? No, no. You, you, do you not see Misty and Brock and fucking May and my whole fucking team? Are you kidding me? Bulbasaur. I want a Bulbasaur. This isn't fair. Just because I grew up in Johto doesn't mean you have to be racist against me. Not give me a fucking Bulbasaur. At least they fixed that issue in the fourth generation, but it's. <sighs> in the second generation, no. We gotta have fucking. You know, just. These three starters. I wish they gave you a Bulbasaur. Just something, you know? I mean, well, actually, technically, in Red, Blue, and Yellow, there's three starters. Well, I mean, yellow, at least. Well, no, pfft, no. No, that doesn't make sense. Why the fuck did I just say that? Ugh, I want my hot chocolate, but it's out of reach. It's out of reach, that's not cool. Okay, Ivysaur, alright, I get it, I get it. You got, a, you got a flower on your butt, I got it, okay? I got it. Yeah, I flew up in the air. You can't get me up there because you got short legs. You can't reach me. Unless you're like Ash's Bulbasaur. Did you guys see that shit in the Pokemon movie? During that little song, like the epic um, intro song. He's fighting a dog fan or some shit. And he solar beams him and it just kills it. <laughs> that was awesome. That was an awesome fight. Yeah. Oh shit, my mic. Where the fuck is my mic? Oh, why the fuck is it all the way up here by my ear? That's strange. Yeah, body slam, nothing. How come that doesn't hurt Venusaur? Is he just so, like, obese that it doesn't even bother him? Okay, come on, that's not cool, man. That's not cool. Fuck that shit. Here comes Mongo. I don't even care that I lost like 5 HP, are you kidding me? That was annoying, I'm not going through another 2 turns just to knock that thing out, are you kidding me? I wish I kept Peck, but I didn't. Oh, I just want to get to the, the Pokemon League. Okay, I really don't want to fight that guy. Okay, let's uh... Let's give somebody some action. You know who we haven't seen? Sandy. We have not seen Sandy in a long ass time. I don't think we've seen Sandy since the beginning of the Ice Path. And that's saying something. Because Sandy is... Sandy kills everything. It's ridiculous. No, wait. I think I used him in Claire's Gym, but whatever. Wow. I actually got lucky with that. I knew somebody had a Magneton here, but I didn't know it was this guy. Um... Let's just dig to our usual Magneton evasion tactics. Magneton's actually a very good Pokemon. He gets especially da dangerous in like the third gen. When he can levitate so grab moves. Oh, oh is Weezing. That's what makes Weezing so bad. Oh, alright, alright. Oh, Quagsire, shit. You know who we have for Quagsire? Struggle. You go struggle. You and your little oddish icon looking thing. That goofy ass duck fucking uh, tadpole, whatever the hell that is. What the hell is Quagsire? That's what I want to know. I'm, trying, I'm racking my brain. Is he like a chameleon, a toad? Nah, toads don't have tails. He's gotta be some kind of... No, a chameleon. What the f I meant salamander. He's gotta be like a salamander or something. Yeah, that, that's what he's gotta be, because there's no fucking way that's a frog. He's some, something. Ooh, I missed what that was, but, uh... Let's send that obsidian. Why the hell not? Execute. I really want to know what the Pokemon creators have spoken. But they mean execute, and they had him freaking evolve into a tree. That's really what I want to know. Like, is he, he's not a coconut. I can understand if he was a coconut, but he's not. He's like an egg. Like, why'd they call him Execute? 
He's not, like, he's not an egg. It's not an egg tree. He's a, Executor is a fucking coconut tree. Are you kidding me? I hate that. I wish all the trainers had, I, I wish all the trainers had terrible eyesight like I do and wasn't able to see that far. Because in real life, I know damn well I wouldn't see that person coming. No friggin' way. You know what? Fuck it. This guy wants to fuck around. Let's do it. Um, slash. We all know that our Sandy is better than his Sandy. They're like Romeo and Juliet right now. Oh, fuck that shit. I'm a ground type Pokemon. You're gonna use sand attack? You're level 35. What the fuck do you still have sand attack? That's like when a level 40 Pokemon saw his tail whip. It's like, what the fuck do you still got tail whip for? You couldn't learn Screech or anything? Your Pokemon are that ignorant, you can't learn Screech, a better tactic than Tail Whip? It won't even have a tail. And look, I just shit all over that thing, because that thing didn't know how to fight. Ah! I had a feeling, too. I had a freaking feeling. Ugh, I hate people. I'm just gonna keep this going until it reaches 20 minutes, and then I'm gonna stop, edit it up, and just render it. That way I can call it I'm recording, yeah, yeah. Because I'm taking breaks in between episodes. I like to stay fresh. You know, I need my breaks. Because what I do is, I record... I've probably talked about this before, but... I record an episode, um... And then I edit it, and I render it. I do it all in one shot. Each episode at a time, so it's completely done. And nothing whacked out happens, like, on uh, episode 34, I believe it was where friggin um got eaten somehow i don't know what the hell happened to it but it wasn't in, it wasn't popping up i had no data in my computer whatsoever it's not even like the computer turned off it's just like like camtasia just shut down randomly and i was like what the hell and um yeah i was just putting a call out I was just putting a call out up and it just freaks out on me. Okay, you're a psychic. Alright, I get it. I get that. I get that. But you probably didn't realize that I had a freaking dark type. A pure dark type Pokemon on my team, so you can't do shit. Drefrig sucks. Nah, Drefrig's actually okay, I guess. I never use him. He doesn't seem bad. Usually those fucking, like, blocky-ass horse-type Pokemon are pretty good. Other than Rapidash. Rapidash is absolute shit, but this draft Pokemon ain't that bad. Him and his little Chain Chomp tail. I always love that about him. It, well, it looks like a Chain Chomp, chomp in this animation. I know it, it doesn't ha like look like it has a chain coming off, but it really does look like a Chain Chomp. I think that's cool. I don't know. Um, MVP. I know I'm, I haven't really used Naked yet, but you know what? He needs to chill the fuck out. Just uh, just for a, a couple of battles. So everyone else can catch up. So it's not fair. He got all this experience. That's why I didn't use him in the Clarified, because he would just fucking destroy everything. Well, he, he literally killed, in my test run, he killed, and I don't... Okay. He killed the Kingdra in his first shot. I swear to god. It wasn't a critical hit, just <sighs> dead. Thunder punch. That's it. I I didn't understand it. So I was like, okay, you need to chill the fuck out. That's gonna be way too fucking easy. So that's why I used like obsidian and uh struggle. And I didn't use struggle in the original fight. Can I just swim around you? Because I know what you're going to do. You're trying to pull that shit, but you were stupid and you let your hair hang off the screen. So, ha. I'm invisible. Why am I even inching? I know you're just going to pop out anyway. Oh, fat guy. Let's, let's skip around him. I'll fight these guys off screen, but I don't want to fight every single person. I mean, that's ridiculous. Too many fights. Ah, uh, this guy, he's gotta be that guy. You know what? Fuck it. You know who we're gonna use? You guys know who we're gonna use. Oh, well, we can't use him if I exile the fucking start screen. 
This is who we're gonna use. And why is my mic by my ear again? Oh my god, it's not supposed to be by my ear. Okay, I'm gonna fight this guy and then I'm gonna call it a day. I really did want to- you know what? No, we're gonna get to the resting house. I don't give a shit. Wow, look at all those badges. You see, the reason why I'm not really cutting them out is because they all have, like, different Pokemon, as you can see. Like, they have an interesting- maybe I'll just show them off, you know? Oh. Have, like, an Axe 2 or something. Espeon. Oh, that's pretty fucking cool. I'm gonna be a dick. Look. Ready? I'm gonna be a huge dick. Obsidian? I don't care. You deserve it. You haven't fought an Espeon yet. I, I think Espeon and Umbreon are two of the friggin' coolest Pokemon. Pursuit? Dead. No, not dead. If I use Faint Attack, he'd at least be in the red zone or the pink. Low pink. At least. Okay, Faint Attack, Faint Attack. I know I'm passing some stuff on this route, but I'll just go back for it. I changed my mind. I'm gonna show those two fights and then I'm just gonna get through this friggin'. Because honestly, I really need the experience. And. You know, no, nah, I, I think. Do you guys see how in this. Do you guys see how indecisive I am? Okay, this is the spot where I wanted to stop. Okay, this here is a resting house. Not like I really need it, but... Yeah, this is a resting house. You can heal up. It's just like a Pokemon Center, except I don't have a computer. And this lady doesn't scream at you for like five seconds and be like, Here's your Pokemon day! So, guys, in the next part, we're gonna head north. And I will also show you Wilton. Wilton, got a minute. My Goldine's looking awesome. I wish I could show you. Oh my God, this guy just keeps going. Oh, nerd! Stop calling me, you nerd. Jeez, I don't care. You want to talk about your fucking Goldine? Look what I got. Look at that, Red Gyarados. Why the fuck are you bragging about a little Goldine? Can't even evolve that shit into a Sea King. You, you ha you're probably gonna have it like level freaking like 35. It's still gonna be a stupid Goldine. You're one of those trainers. W one of those trainers with the level 25 Magikarp. Okay, guys, I'm done ranting. I'm gonna show off what's this way. I'm gonna show off what's that way. But mostly, we're gonna see what's that way. And maybe if I can get around this girl. Wait, I'm gonna use stealth. Okay, fuck it. We'll do it next time. She can't see me, but she can't see diagonally. Alright, peace.